What's Up Movie Club, this is my review of Drive. Drive was pretty damn good. I'd heard a mix of reactions from my friends and other people before watching this, but I still had a feeling I was still going to like it. And I wasn't disappointed, although the ending didn't offer a lot of closure that I was expecting. I liked how artsy the styling was, that was something I hadn't seen in sort of like an action-y kind of movie in, in a long time. The opening scene was absolutely brilliant. It reminded me a lot of The Transporter, except that it was a lot less high-flying, but that didn't detract from it at all. Using the Celtics Clippers game as a getaway strategy, absolutely genius. And I love that Brian Cranston and Christina Hendricks were in this. Christina Hendricks mostly because, you know, boobs, but Brian Cranston because he is absolutely fantastic in Breaking Bad. If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, go and watch it now, it's on Netflix. Although his role is sort of limited, he's a fantastic actor. He's probably the best one on TV. As for Ryan Gosling, I really like The Notebook in general, so it was cool to see him in this. There wasn't a lot of action, and I knew that going into this film, so that didn't bother me too much. The suspense kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time, and the complete lack of gore up until about the last half hour really made it resonate that much more. I really liked the dynamic between Standard Gabriel and Ryan Gosling's character. That was really interesting, and I kind of wish they had you know, put in a little bit more of that. The pacing was interesting, but it's not something a lot of people are used to, and it may have detracted from the movie a little bit. Immediately following the end of the movie, I was still reeling from the final scene with the mobster. After about 10 minutes though, I felt like I was missing something. I liked that Drive didn't go for the happy ending, it kept a sense of realism throughout, and it didn't resort to crappy cliches just to keep everyone interested. But I feel like it lacked something memorable. That memorable something didn't need to be action, but I still felt an emptiness where I was expecting to feel something. Overall, this is a pretty good film, and I would recommend it to most everyone to watch at least once. But I don't think it has a lot of rewatch value unless you're like Lee Newton and you absolutely love Ryan Gosling and everything he's in. Well, that was my review of Movie Club. I'll see you next week.